right guys, welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your stand-in host, Jason. And today I'm standing inside of a 2022 Stratus 281 VBH. This is a product from Venture RV, and this happens to be one of my favorite bunkhouses that period. I love the size of this. We're still under that magical 34 feet. So this is very, very easy to tow. You can fit this in a state park, but you get a lot of room. And this is still light enough for a Tahoe or a larger SUV can tow it. We're right at 6,500 pounds. Let me go ahead and spin the camera around. We'll take a look. So starting out, we're in the main living space of this unit. And we have the perfect, in my opinion, setup for a living room in this size of a unit. We have two recliners here with cup holders and power, that USB and AC. We spin around, it is directly across from our TV entertainment center. I don't know why a lot of units forget to put the recliners right across from there, but most manufacturers do. So. Continuing on, we have some cabinets right over here by the sofa, giving us kind of some pantry space. Have another cabinet above that. Moving over, here's our bunks. Now our bunks are actually fairly large for the size of this unit. I mean, I'm about six foot and I can probably fit up in these. Now keep in mind that top bunk weight capacity is 500 pounds. The lower bunk is 250 pounds. The reasoning for that is this flips up so we can have some extra storage to fit a bicycle or some dog crates or something of that nature. Sliding over this, we have our control panel. Venture doing a basic toggle switch approach, which I prefer over all the digital um, buttons and apps. Sliding over, we have a nice corner bath in this unit. Also has a good bit of space. We can see on the wall here, we actually are equipped with Level Mate Pro. It's not an auto level system, but it assists you in leveling. It's an app that connects to your phone and shows you how off your trailer is and helps you level it. We have a video I'll link up in this top corner. Coming in, we have our shower, nice multi shower head. Spinning back around to the main door we came up through, we have a full pantry. It's pretty impressive how much space is in here. I think that's what partly makes this unit so good. One of my favorites, there's just a balance of space and storage. Coming over, we're gonna look at here at our dinette. This does fold down into a bed. And another thing Venture does I love is these little storage bins. So you don't have to reach all the way up in there to get stuff out. You can just pull it right out. Spinning over to the kitchen. Venture killing it with that modern farmhouse look. I love all this white cabinets with these rough live edge countertops. Super nice. We have our fridge here. This is 12 volt, so it gives you a little bit more space than a gas electric would. We have a freezer up above. We have our single basin stainless steel sink. It's really nice. And Venture going the extra mile, giving us a cutting board. And that cutting board does fit in the sink as well. And then one of the signature Venture RV items is this little hidden storage at the end of the cabinets for charging your phone and putting your keys and whatnot. You have USB ports and a 110 outlet up there. Here we have our solar controller or Go Power. This is equipped with a solar panel on the roof. And we step into our bedroom. What's impressive about this bedroom is stepping in, it looks really tight, but look, looking down, we have like two feet, one and a half, two feet of space in front of the bed. I can walk completely sideways through here. I don't have to shimmy. We have a bunch of storage along the sides, have a nice hanging closet, have an open space over here. Then we also have this other cabinet above. We also have a front windshield, another huge bonus on this unit. And we have a little side shelf for a CPAP machine or phone. There's USB and 110. Then of course we have a storage under the bed. This is a pretty large cavity we have. Spinning around to the back wall, we have our key prep for our King Wi-Fi system, a Wi-Fi extender, I should say. And we also have TV prep there as well. And this unit is equipped with two ACs. There's one in the main area and one in the bedroom and they are ducted and slash direct dump. Spin this back around. 
All right, guys, that covers the inside. Let's go check out the outside. They did a couple changes for 2022 on this unit. We're going to check out. All right, guys, so standing outside of the Stratus, I want to show you all this outdoor kitchen. They've changed it for 2022. It's pretty cool what they've done here. So spinning around, we see that they have replaced the grill that would be here with a griddle. I love this upgrade. These little suburban um, griddles are so nice, so much nicer than the grills they used to put. It's great that they added that. They've also bolted it down so it will not move around while you're trying to cook on it. Also have a little sink here, and this is a quick connect that you can plug the spray port hose into. Some people don't know that, but that is possible. Also a little storage nook up here. We also have a little fridge. Also, this thing already has piping in the back of it for our LP connect, and they have given us two down here. Very generous Venture is with those LP connect, quick connects. Spinning back around, something else they've changed for 2022. Is they have removed the hookups from just on the wall to this little box. So now we almost have a little wet bay on this thing, which is pretty cool. This is usually only a feature on fifth wheels. So pretty cool. Spin the hammer back around. Hope you all enjoyed this quick rundown of the Stratus. If you want to see this or other things, hit the subscribe button. We're releasing videos as quick as we can. Um, and if you want to come see this for yourself in person, we're down in McDonough, Georgia, right off the highway. And until next time, happy camping.